So it's ready, set, and go. Good afternoon, everyone. I want you all to take a deep breath. Now exhale. What if the air you just breathe in can charge your phone or power your car? With the climate crisis, this isn't just a dream. It's a necessity. I believe the key might be hydrogen. Hydrogen so mighty it delivers a punch three times stronger than gasoline. And when it burns, it doesn't pollute the air. But why isn't it powering our devices yet? Because getting energy from hydrogen is like playing a game where it costs you more points to play than you can win. The energy input is so much larger than the energy output. We also need expensive and hard-to-find metals to speed up the process. My job is to find ways to use hydrogen efficiently, but with cheaper and easy-to-find metals like nickel and iron. And my guide is nature, particularly its own tiny machines called enzymes. Nature has created enzymes to turn hydrogen in the air into food or energy for bacteria. Some of these bacteria are so tough that they can survive without oxygen, without water, just hydrogen, thanks to these special enzymes. Meet Huck, one of the enzymes that I study. By putting Huck into an electrical circuit, I found that it can create electricity, even from the tiny amount of hydrogen in the air. This is special because other enzymes need a lot of hydrogen to do the same job. Using powerful microscopes, we found that one, Huck acts like a filter. It filters out unwanted gases and only lets hydrogen pass through. Using powerful microscopes, we also found out that inside Huck are parts that act like a car's engine, maximizing the extraction and conversion process. The best part is this engine is made up of simple metals like nickel and iron. I strongly believe this is a game changer because one, we can use Huck to turn clean fuel into electricity instead of burning fossil fuels. And two, we can use Huck to inspire the design of electrical devices that could run on the air we breathe. So, I believe nature is the best hydrogen engineer. Again, I want you all to take a deep breath and exhale. Remember, you are inhaling a potential game changer in our energy landscape, and we might be on the verge of using it for a cleaner future. Thank you. Well, thank you.